Today we're taking a quick look at the Crucial MX200 SSD. This is actually the successor to the MX100. And this one just came out. It's their newest answer to uh, the mainstream consumer class market. And they do say they focus more on reliability and features than performance uh, with their MX series of drive. And when we actually compare that to like the Samsung uh, 850 Evo and 850 Pro, that becomes very apparent. Uh, but in this video, we're just going to do a quick unboxing and go over the features. If you want to see how it compares to the Samsungs and even the, the BX100, go ahead and check out the link up here in the annotation or down in the description as well. Um, I actually put it to the test and uh, I'll, I'll show you some charts and graphs on how it actually compares to the, the Samsung series. So as far as the box goes, it's pretty generic. Um, nice blue and black nothing fancy there uh, doesn't really need to be in the box they do give you a code to Acronis True Image HD uh, this is kinda like the installer pack version of uh, True Image it'll do the job just fine for cloning your hard drive uh, nothing wrong with that software and you get your SSD it is seven millimeters and because of that they do include an adapter to adapt it up to a nine and a half uh, millimeter size so they got you covered uh, it's nice and small but if you need that nine and a half millimeters for your laptop or desktop enclosure uh, they give you that little shim there to kind of shim it up so that's all you get in the box nothing fancy there let's go over some of the features like what makes this better than the MX100 and uh, performance wise um, it's actually kind of disappointing it only only does better than the MX100 in a couple couple tests. Other than that, the MX100 actually kind of uh, nudges ahead of the, the MX200. But the MX200 does have some pretty uh, pretty interesting features that kind of set it apart from the MX100. The first being, and probably the most important being, uh, the inclusion of their RAIN technology. Um, R-A-I-N. It's actually kind of like a on-device version of RAID. It actually supposedly sto stores all the data in multiple places on the NAND, so you end up with a little bit of redundancy in there. I think it ends up using like 10% of the, the space for that RAID functionality, but you end up with a, kind of like a RAID all-in-one device sort of thing. So that kind of gives you a greater reliability. If you get a little uh, section of that NAND memory that, that fails on you, um, it can supposedly take uh, the copy over here from the other part of the NAND and uh, restore your data, just like RAID would in a two-drive configuration. This is doing the same thing on one device. So it uses uh, maybe 10% of the drive to do that, but it does give you an added you know, reliability and functionality thing. And technically it should be a little bit faster than RAID with two drives because it's all on the same device. And uh, what else they do? It also has a much better power consumption than the MX100, so that does set it apart. Um, although the BX100 actually does uh, the best of all the drives. So if you're looking for absolute best power consumption, you might want to look at the BX100. And let's see, what else do we have? We've got dynamic write acceleration. Um, dynamic write acceleration is kind of uh, Crucial's answer to uh, competing with the, the Samsung's uh, 3D NAND. Um, they're saying that the dynamic write acceleration allows them to uh, push more than one channel of data out at the same time and they kind of compare that to the 3D VNAND technology by Samsung saying that you can put more data through at the same time um, because you have multiple multiple channels. Um, I think it's just a gimmick. I think they're just trying to compete with Samsung in that regard but uh, that is in there and it uh, is, I don't know, it is supposed to help if you want to see how this thing actually performs, make sure you check out the other videos. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and talk about some of the features. Um, they do have like uh, an adaptive thermal protection on this, um, so it monitors temperature and uh, adjusts your uh, adjusts your usage accordingly. I guess it'll protect it from overheating and dying. And then uh, actually one feature that this has that is really beneficial is they have a power loss prevention. So if you if your laptop dies or desktop computer dies and it's in the middle of a write operation, uh, it's probably got some sort of capacitor in there that allows it to use enough power to go ahead and complete what it's doing and shut off. 
So it does have power loss prevention on it, and that does set it apart from the MX100 and uh, the other drives on the market. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the full review of this and uh, its comparison to the other drives on the market.